29 killers, 50 head-to-head -head games of most hooks win. This is Slate's World Cup of Dead by Daylight Killers. Right. Midwitch, I'll tell you what, that is an amazing get for the dredge. Couldn't ask for a better map. No excuses for the dredge here. Let's see how this game goes. And I think immediate teleportation could work well for us. There's a teleport into the lot locker, which is a bit of a shame. But no worries. Dredge will find the first survivor over here. Probably should have vaulted thinking about it. Wanted to move around. In the end, the vault may have been a little bit better for it. Wait and see, Feng. Seems like they're one step ahead. They're not going to fall for the teleporting trick here. That's okay. Bit of a duff first chase for the dredge, but early, early days and still lots of teleportation. To come here. Talking of. Well, not teleportation. We're talking of gens. Here is one. Just had an inkling. If there were no scratch marks, they'd be hiding in a locker. And it would have to be the locker that was open, that was not locked, obviously. Is there any chance? Hang on. We just want to make sure. Just want to make sure there's no one in the immediate vicinity. And doesn't seem like it. Bit of a, a nervy opening for the dredge, this. On a map like this, you're hoping to make inroads in the early game. But that's not quite working out that way. Gen down there is moving. Probably going to be the next port of call for the dredge. And he's going to head there next. It's moving quite a lot. But they won't be able to complete it. There's your injury. With Call of Brian Eruption, dredge is thinking, have to get the regression out there. So there's the kick on the gen. Is Dredge feeling maybe a little bit nervous, buckling under pressure? Maybe it's not been the start he would have been hoping for. Not been the statement so far that he would have liked to have made. And again, losing another survivor in favour of the kick. And it's important to get these kicks. Call of Brian Eruption. But you do sometimes give up the possibility of a hook in doing so. Not a bad teleport. Now this could be the first chase here. The dredge commits to a pallet burn. Dredge may be expecting a bit of a run around. Wow. Quick on the pallet drops here. And this goes some way to making the map a little bit better in the late game. Survivor going down. The vault falling to the lower level. There goes two gens. And after how slow the early game has been be not a shock to lose two gens in that fashion and just keep on running into pallets not really getting much of anything going here the scary thing for dredge is that this oh there you go this was that most pressured gen and it will pop that's three gens gone and with the number of gens i got already the pressure they've put onto the board why would you bother why would you bother with um with leaving your pallets just burn them delay the, the dredge even more. There we go. Because the survivors have a very clear upper hand here. Okay. Okay, let's still around that area. Dredge looking for an injury. We'll get it. And you just need to get a hook on the board here. Not Mikhail, sorry. Meg. Lost Meg. Entirely. Oof. And back to the drawing board for Dredge. What a tough start. It was, it was a buoyant atmosphere. I was hearing from Slab, a buoyant atmosphere in the dredge camp going into this contest. They thought that they didn't put it all on the table in the previous tournament, in the final main tournament. They were saying, this is where you'll see the real dredge. If this is the real dredge, then pack it up, Sunshine, because you're going home. No good here. And dredge not even going to kick the gen. Feels like it needs some kind of injury, some kind of anything. Just to put things right. And there is an injury. Can this be closed down? Knows they're going to fall to the lower level. Not a bad teleport for Dredge, but that's not who you want to see. That is not who you want to see. Masterful use on the map, knowing where the lockers are. Move in the opposite direction. And Dredge here has to be thinking, damn the gens. I just want 
a goddamn hook. The teleport up, trying to make that happen. Not a bad move at all. They went up the stairs, nothing up there, only death. Will this be the first hook for the dredge of the World Cup? Well, we'll see, but it's certainly the first dying state, and with how the game has gone, it will take that and then some, and thankfully, the lesser spotted hook in the room in mid, which, who knows, who knows, maybe this could be the beginning of something, the beginning of something a little bit better. Now, Dredge takes a moment respite. Looks for darkness revealed intel, won't find anything at all, which is surprising and a little bit upsetting. Wants to get back up here. Someone still downstairs, Nightfall, giving killer instinct. And remember, in the dying vestiges of Nightfall, everyone is exposed. What do I mean, darts revealed? Sorry, my bad, no darts revealed here. I'm not running that perk. That's on me. That one's on me. That can't be held against a dredge camp. That's commentator nonsense. That's Wednesday morning nonsense right there. Now, they must be exposed, are they not? Yes, exactly. Here it doesn't add on. Get stretch another hook. And as long as you have one hook on the board, you never know. You always have a chance. So at least Dredge will not be going into game one, or coming out of game one, I should say, with nothing to show for its efforts. Just trying to cheat by uh, using a perk he's not running. Yeah, exactly. I think now, a couple of hooks on the board. Now is the time to try and keep the gens in check as much as possible. So I'm running over here. I mean, look at the locks, lockers all over the shop. Just going to try and get rid of as many as possible. There'll be enough one down here. A tap gen. That will be kicked once more from Dredge. Not getting all that much from Eruption here. We'll be very conscious of that. They burn the pallet. They go over. Oh, they do, but we're quick and quiet. No matter. No matter. A dying state. That is Eruption. It would be an incredible comeback. A real uh, tale for the ages were Dredge to pull this off. Still has a lot to do, but now at least displaying a little bit of that lethality that has thus far been lacking. Another lock lock. What a nightmare this is turning out to be. Keeps on the gen. You see the scratch marks, but you're going to go for the gen kick every single day in a pressured situation like this. There is Nightfall, but no lockers to teleport to. They're all blocked off. So get the unhook. Could be a good opportunity for a chase here. Get the early and injury on Feng. Call the Brian Eruption over there. You don't want to go after the survivor who may have borrowed time here. So you get the Fang and you do so pretty quickly. Convert that into a swift hook. Thank you, Nabu. I will change the category up at the first opportunity. Very kind of you. Hello, Sam as well. Welcome in. Happy to be here for day two of the World Cup. I appreciate it. I appreciate you being here. You get the aura. You get the aura. You're looking for the door. Where's the door? There they are. Lovely stuff from the dredge. These are quick, quick hooks. And Call of Brian Eruption might be doing just enough to keep those gens in check. The dying moments of Nightfall. A gen does pop. But to be honest, this is already a far better situation than I think anyone thought possible. Even just uh, two minutes ago, no one would have been calling this kind of a game state. It looked like the dredge's goose... Thoroughly, thoroughly cooked, but maybe the goose is alive and honking. <laughs> Let's, go Let's go down here. Let's go down here. <laughs> no audible gen repairs downstairs. There's the unhook. Dredge wants to get there as soon as possible. We'll teleport over here. Another locked locker. In a story of locked lockers, not able to get back on the chase as quickly as he would like. It would like, sorry. Getting that lock locker dealt with. There's your injury. They're giving up. Oh, what was that all about? The dredge there has been thrown a bone under extraordinary circumstances. Would you look at this now? Six hooks and which gen's moving? This was a pressure point, but look, it's faded into near irrelevance. Heading over here, gonna check out this gen, another lock locker.
No gen movements here. Listening upstairs? Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Just going to head over. Spare a parting glance at this hook, but must be feeling pretty confident about how this game is going. Suddenly, the three gen is tasty, and the hooks, where once there were no hooks, there are now plenty of hooks, dishing them out at the dredge's leisure. And here's your next chase. One good teleport here could get back in this. That's a great teleport there. Closes the gap somewhat. They did drop, chose to prove drop there, not wanting to muck around with the dredge or any of the any of the faking out the pallet maneuvers of which he is well renowned. Now this cannot be an overlong chase. And with that vault, it might begin to be an overlong chase. Never mind, there's an immediate injury. A quick teleport here could be just what we need. Quick teleport here. Good move for the dredge. The door's done. Barring dead hard. This could be an injury. Will it be eruption as well? It will be eruption. That could be such an important hit of eruption to keep that pressure point, that gen, further under wraps. Oh my lord in heaven, where's the hook? Midwitch can be a nightmare for hooks and, oh god, a true 50-50 call for all the hesitation. It gets it. It gets it. And I, uh, oh god, the dress team believes this was a gen, but no one's quite sure. It wasn't the gen. It wasn't the gen. Which one was the gen? Was it upstairs? Upstairs is moving just a little bit. There's the unhook. Dread sort of waiting. Waiting for the next teleportation here to get up there as soon as possible. There it is. Good move. Good injury. Dredge going to forego the kick because this could be an amazing double. Here it is. Oh, my Lord in heaven. This is either a kill or everyone's on death hook. How on earth has the Dredge done this? How on earth has the Dredge team coordinated such an incredible comeback? Don't count your chickens. Still needs to get to this hook and took a weird route in doing so. Oh, it will be a hook. Is it a kill? They'd love a kill at the Dredge camp. It is. How on earth? How on earth? Is this happening? Very nice body block from the dredge as well to deny the pallet. Quite right. Right. And take a breath, dredge fans, because this is looking like it could be an extraordinary, extraordinary end game here. Gets out of the locker when ideally should have waited, teleported elsewhere. Bit of a, bit of a mistake from the dredge, but with how the game's going, you'll forgive it. A minor mistake like that. My lord in heaven, what is going on here? No scratch marks upstairs. Hiding, hiding around the corner, presumably. Not entirely sure. What Dredge does know, call the brine on that pressure point there. It will know exactly when the survivors start moving it. This could be a great opportunity to take the Meg on. Run along this way. They do have a pallet here. Just going to move around immediately. They pre-drop. Good move from the dredge. Good injury. Gets back on the chase. And here's the here's the fluidity with which the dredge has in the past been able to take on these sorts of games. This is vintage dredge. It's a pleasure to see. Maybe the punters would think they wouldn't be seeing this kind of dredge gameplay. But here it is in full swing. Oh, not a bad teleport, but they were just wise to it. And now you have to make up your mind. Do you keep on this chase? They're in a pretty unfavorable area. So I think maybe... You do here. So they commit to the window early. When you kick the store in, it's often quite likely that you are then able to get the chase closed down imminently. And that appears to be the case here. Barring that hard, which the dredge camp, they ran the statistics. They thought it was unlikely the Meg was running dead hard. And indeed, that is... The case, we're back to the hook dead zone. My lord in heaven. What a nightmare again this map can be. Deja vu of the previous hook. Are we going to get this one? Oh, dredge does. Dredge does. And back on the gens as quickly as possible. Here is someone, barbecue and chili, giving incredible intel. And they aren't quite able to commit to the gen. Dredge going to double down on this. Get the chase. That forces Kate to get off the gen. Oh, they didn't go up here. What on earth? Where did they go? Quick and quiet into a locker. No? In here? Yes. What a play by the fan. Completely. Completely falling the dredge. They were in this locker. Okay. Scary, scary scenes. They get the unhook. 
Dredge going to get the hook over here. Wants to get back down to that gen by the stairs. That big pressure point. Can it do it? Quick teleport. Quick emergence. The biggest call of Brian Eruption kick you're ever likely to see. Heading back around here. Keeping an eye on these gens. Wow. What a game this has been. Did I hear... Someone getting into a different locker. Okay. It would have been an extraordinarily bold play. It's not the play that made. Oh, no teleport there, okay. That's still regressing. I want to just check out. This one again, still regressing. Check out. This one. Wrong lockers. Wrong lockers in the wrong room. Ooh! But somehow, through sheer, rot uh, through sheer luck, the dread stumbling upon the Meg. And fake out the pallet like so. Ooh, not a bad move. They were just wise to it. They pre-drop. Revenant down here. Moving around. A little bit turned about as Dredge can often be after going back to the Remnant. But does get the hit. They're going to go upstairs. Dredge just wants to keep them on side here. They're back on that Cold Brine Eruption gem. Don't want to throw this game away. Surely not. Walking around to get into another room, presumably. Oh, just been lost. Just been lost. Losing the chase, having to move on. This isn't the gen. That's the gen. Oh, dearie, dearie me. The wrong teleport could be disastrous here. Oh, but there's Kate. There's Kate. Getting the kick as quick as possible. Pressure's on here. It's still, regardless of what happens, a 10-hook game. And considering where the dredge was, you know, dredge of 10 minutes ago would have bitten your hand off if it had teeth for that. Praying for no gem, uh, for no gate progress here. There is none. There is none. Now, does the dredge teleport here or just take on the chase in a melee style? They're not moving here either. They must be asking the Meg, where are you? Where are you? What have you been doing? Because they have been left in the lurch. And this looks like it's going to be, barring catastrophe here, an 11 hook game to kick off day two for the Dread. Wow. What a game this has been. Seems very likely. But they'll be already moving that gate. There you go. There it is. There it is. Open. And they're away. They're not mucking about. What a comeback. Performance from the dredge. 11 hooks. I'm going to really quickly. There's some World Cup Village drama. I'm thinking Fire Festival levels catering. Everything seems to be humming along uh, quite pleasantly right now. Or about as pleasantly as you can muster when you have all of the most fearsome and loathsome killers in all fiction in one area. Right, early doors. Pigs gonna crouch. Ormond, a bit of a tough one. One thing that the people will like from this, not a huge map. So you can crouch around and not waste too much time in doing so. The rocks can provide cover for you. So you can approach dens without being spotted. No one on that one. We're going to make a glance to the right. Check there's no one on that gen either. Can't see one. This is the gen that's moving. Any opportunities for a grab here? Not quite. Not a grab. It is an injury. It's the obsession. We've saved best for last. Chasing the obsession early on. Not an awful call by any means. They're not going to go for that pallet. Plenty of pallets here. Distressing number of pallets here. They're going to run around. Firing dead hard. Peek gets the dying state here. There we go. Does get the dying state. That's a really quick gen. But pig can counter with a trap. With a trap. Lots of people asking which Amanda will turn up. Forgetful Amanda or not quite as forgetful Amanda. Not quite as forgetful Amanda has turned up apparently in the early stages. Puts a trap on. And that is a reasonably good start for the pig. Here we go. Bill over here. Didn't really notice there was a Bill in this game. The pig camper, uh, uh, not quite a cheer, but uh, a contented little way at hearing and seeing the bill here. 
And there we go. A gentle little pallet fake out is enough to get the bill on a hook here. They're going to get that gen. You, what you wouldn't give a mad grit in that exact situation. I think you're not going to jeopardize basement hook here. You're going to get it. Is there any... The pig camp are furious. Um, Amanda's bottled it in a big way. Forgotten the trap. The pig camp are looking to the sky, hands on hips, asking as one, what on earth can we do here? How on earth are we supposed to get it into her head? And who knows? Who knows at this point? A big whiff for sure. And it's not like you're saving those traps for later. You've got plenty of traps. Not having enough traps is not the issue here. Oh, bit unlucky. Bit unlucky. Should have not gotten the swing through the pallet there. Let's put the kick on the gen again. We'll get the Call of Brian eruption benefit there. Lots of survivors over here. Looking for an injury on Jane. Gets it. They all were thinking about the window to the left. I'm going to go for it. That seems... That's not a stiptic agent. That's not a stiptic agent. Because they did not consume their med kit. They will go through the window. Dead hard. No dead hard. Now watch this, says Amanda to Pig Camp. And the pit camp says, yeah, brilliant, you've done your one job. Um, there's a little bit of disharmony in the pig camp right now. Like I say, I can't stress how much they were on at the pig saying, please, don't do this again. You're hamstringing yourself. Um, and those words do not seem to have really sunk in. Although two out of three, you might be saying, ain't too bad. And you get another shot at Bill here. Could this be another trap on the head? Could this be making it three out of four? There's your one injury. Bill goes through the window quick and quiet for Bill. Remember that in the future, because Bill might try a strange locker play. Bill's and strange locker plays, name a more iconic duo. I don't think you'll be able to. They're gonna go for this pallet, do this, move back. Little bit of a fake out, Bill. It's a weirdly safe loop, this. Can you get Bill hesitating? There we go. Bill hesitating. Bill down. Quick as you can. Look at that. Look at that. And the pig camp. Putting their animosity to one side. Recognising that this is Amanda making amends in a big way. And it's a really good start as well. Look at this, four hooks to one gen. Maybe it's deceptive. Maybe this gen is about to blow. Although we've not been here in Call of Brian, and there we go. No movement on it at all. This might be the pressure point. This is the pressure point. But they're going to get away from this gen. They're going to go in for the unhook instead. And maybe that opens up the possibility of a chase here. Yeah, there you go. Chase over here. Not an immediate pre drop. Going to go window. We'll pivot over here. Give it over here instead. They're going to burn the pallet. Be the scene. Oh, there's an injured party here. There's an injured party. It's the Jane. They're going to go for the window. Moving around. Pig smells blood here. But at the same time, Jane has to focus on the trap. Isn't moving the game along in any meaningful way. I think Pig is going to stick to the fundamentals of the pig. Don't worry about trap survivors because they won't be hurting your game state. The untrapped survivors are, are where you need to be concerned. Oh, you thought for just a moment. Just a moment. Is the Yui getting a little bit greedy? Apparently not the case. Moving away over there. Could be a big grain plate to try and counter. Let's move. There is the Yui. Through the window. Tried to go around them. Tried to take surprising lines. Did the pig there. Didn't quite pay off in the way they would have liked. And they are back to stealth. Going to try and go for a huge play. A grab off the gen. A grab off the gen as pig can be so vital to your efforts. They have used that to great effect previously. They're going to try and use it again. And this could be an opportunity here. Moving up. They might be trying to commit. Are they trying to commit? They're not. They're going to flee the scene. Now, you do want a kick here. You do want a kick. But you're going to pray that Jane is the only one on the gen. Get the dying state. Eruption on those two gens. Now you come back. Make sure no one's on this. Good play from the pig. Very nicely done. These, these are the, this is the 101 
101 of gem pressure. Having said that, even in the time that it takes to pick up the survivor and head back over here, they'll try and commit again. They won't be able to fully. They'll flee the scene. Gives a man the time for a... Okay. Well, the pig camp thought that they'd turned a corner. Plainly not turned a corner. Another trap forgotten by Amanda. Not the 101 of trap usage, though. And even the crowd are getting in on the action. It's a really dire affair when that happens. Is Amanda, who, you know, wasn't necessarily a crowd favourite, but um, has an amiable relationship with the viewers. Is she now losing favour with the chat, is the question we're all asking here. And I think the answer may be yes, if she keeps up this kind of nonsense. Still three traps in the bag, who knows? Maybe they'll be used at a later stage to greater effect in the end game. If we even get to the end game, it does have to be said, this is an extraordinarily good performance from Amanda. Traps aside, very nicely done. A chase here with Yunjin could be further bringing this back. Deadlock, gonna keep that gem block for a little while. Might give Amanda the time she needs to close down this chase. Not heading upstairs. No, he is heading upstairs. Didn't quite keep on top of the scratch marks there. That could have been very tough indeed. <laughs> Waiting out dead hard admirably was, Ander, uh, was Amanda. Is not going to forget the trap on this occasion. Over to the hook we go again. Dredge camp. Uh, not really sweating. Because they don't sweat in the way that you and I know, but they're exuding some kind of material which you would think was caused by some kind of concern about the game state. And who can blame them? Things are looking good for Amanda. But remember, the bar set very high, has to get 11 hooks, which is a 3k and the other one on death hook. If they are gonna draw this, have to get a 4k if they're gonna think about winning this. Good stuff for the build group, straight on the pallet. This has been a very high intensity game. Pressured all the way through. Could go either way at this juncture. And this is a chase with the injured Jane, which is wonderful. Oh, and they just showed enough restraint to avoid the window, but will jump through eventually. Allows for another trap here. One left in the back pocket. So while there have been some missed opportunities with the traps, it does seem likely that Amanda will get use out of all of them. And that's a kill! Well, in, in the end, in the end, if Amanda had remembered that Jane was on death hook, that's a bad trap. Should not have put that trap down. To be honest, though, the pig camp, they're just happy that the muscle memory is there. They're not going to be too upset about the wasted trap on that occasion. The chase with Bill is a tantalizing prospect. Let's call it Brian over there. I think Amanda's, Amanda's gonna move away. Amanda's gonna move aside immediately. Does not wanna lose this gem. Let me go for the window. Not gonna be able to double back and this should be an injury here, barring a, a spin move of some kind. They won't be able to get it. They're trying to leave the loop area. Won't be able to. Amanda's back on with eight, eight stacks. Say best for last. You don't think it's that it's uh, dead hard here, and indeed it isn't. There's your last trap. Your final trap, going on the head. Ooh, but no hooks. There is a hook. There is a hook over here. Brief concern allayed by the sight of the hook to the right. Oh, feel just able. To commit to the gen. Deadlock on the gen behind us, so we're given just a bit of time here. Does Bill drop this pallet? Does. After a bit of a delay. The gen is deadlocked. The Yunjin has an active trap. The pig's also running the add on. That means that when you complete a gen, the death timer is decreased by 10 seconds. Completing that gen is risky business, a risky proposition. Is that what they're gonna do? It's a great question. I think and the pig agrees. You have to go and check on the gen. There's a blown skill check on the trap station over there. Do you go for the trap station or do you go for the gen? Go for the trap station. You want to get a survivor out of here as soon as possible. And that's what you're not going to do. It's off the record. 
It's off the record, of course, trying to remove the trap does not get rid of your off the record effect. It is not a conspicuous action. So they can benefit from endurance and keep the chase alive. Talking of keeping the chase alive, here's Bill. Bill, trying to get us away from the gens. Pig, not going to fall for that. She has a relatively decent three gen here. She's not going to give that up without a fight. Doing a good job of keeping Yui off these tramp stations as well. Looking for a death timer to give her a leg up in this game. You need some kind of breakthrough. This is turning into a bit of a stalemate, and a stalemate is where survivors can be very happy about themselves and about the state of the game. You need a breakthrough, you need a kill. An injury on Bill would be a good start, and you get it. Not a bad spin by Bill. Bill, by the way, who's really turned it on in the end game here. Not been a liability, I would never say that, but certainly not been a strength of the team, but look at these. Where once was fooled, by pallet maneuvers now is burning pallets with aplomb. Might be able to get another one here. We'll do. Moving around here. They're going to go back over. They will. Quick and quiet. But we get the move around. Now, huge, huge passenger play. They're able to commit to a gen. Yui still has to get rid of that trap timer, though. And that trap timer with the add-on that, again, removes time from it. They can't have long left. They have had plenty of time to search for those trap stations, though. Here's hook for Bill. It is a kill. You're praying. Praying to the Lord above that they have not got this gate 99. They've not. Okay. Pig is still in it. This is so, so tense. 11 hooks to beat. Currently on nine. The end game is active. Need to patrol these gates. Remembering as you do that the hatch will spawn in Killer Shack. Now, is Yui in Killer Shack? Is that the trap station she's just successfully searched? The trap is off the head for Yui. This is such a tough game. Been a tough game all the way through. No real opportunities to keep both gates in check. You need to make just an overlong patrol here. If you're going to look at them, because that block is just occluding your view of the lights. Do you move around the right? No one there. They might be trying to find one another. Get Yui healed up, and then maybe their play is taking a chase. There you go. They are, they are doing exactly that. Yui is healed up here. What you wouldn't give for a no way out. And maybe now the pig camp kicking themselves. The decision makers, the loadout builders kicking themselves, saying, Oh, we anticipated an end game here. Why did we not have a little bit of help in this situation? It's always tough. You know, which perk would you give up? I think all of the perks here have helped us in some way. Maybe the kicks haven't been quite as useful as they could have been. Just looking. Looking. For which gate's moving. Amanda's going to try and make a play. Try and move this game along. Going to crouch. Going to stay. Undetectable. Going to move over here. We're going to see the survivor moving onto the gate. Good move from Amanda. Very good move from Amanda. And might now just be honing in on the draw. Very interesting state of play here. If you get a kill, you confirm. No, you don't confirm the draw. You need to go after the survivor who is uh, not on death hook, weirdly enough. And the pig can't quite remember. The statisticians... The people in the pig camper are supposed to keep track of this sort of thing. They can't quite remember either. Person coming in through a body block. Need to get around them. Need to get around them. Does so admirably. Barring dead hard. We've got them. We have got them. Good injury here. They're going to go for this. Oh, a big whiff. A huge whiff. Dying state there. What you wouldn't give from away. Who's on death hook? Who's on death hook? I'm going to assume it's you. Gonna assume, sorry, going to assume it's not you. Now... If we've made the wrong call, if the pig has made the wrong call here, if the non-death hook survivor has left the trial, they lose. If this is the death hook survivor, sorry, if this is not the death hook survivor, they draw level. They draw level. They draw level. You needed the survivor who was on second hook. This will move you over to 11 hook states. Good lord in heaven. The pig. And it came right down to the wire. The pig gets 11 hooks. Gets 11 hooks. And that will be an 11 hook apiece draw. 
with the dredge. Wow. GG, well played.